Hey everyone, Ray Sawville, RaySawville.com. In today's video, we are going to be going through Facebook ads library and how you can use all of this intelligence to spy on your competitors. So if that's the kind of video you're looking for, make sure to stick around. Real quick before jumping in, some shameless promotion. <laughs> if you're not subscribed right now, consider subscribing. Only two to 3% of the audiences who actually watch my videos right now are subscribed out of like 60,000 views over the past like two to three months. So again, really appreciative for all the support. But if you find this content useful and you wanna see more of it down the line, consider subscribing. Competitive research on Facebook is vital for every marketer out there and Facebook specifically has a built-in tool on their platform that allows you to literally spy on what your competitors are doing extremely easily. It's a Facebook's way to show you extremely transparent data to ensure that no no crazy business is happening on their platform, but it's, it's called the Ad Library tool and if you just Google Facebook Ad Library, you'll get right there. It's the, the first result in the SERP. So if you just Google for ad library and a link will be down below in the description if you want to link directly there, it'll take you directly to this tool. Now I've made a video uh, maybe a year and a half ago that went through this tool at a really high level. My goal and my attempt right now is to kind of go into a little bit more detail with some actionable tips on how you can use this today to do some competitive research and pull out some nuggets out of what, what your major competitors are doing today. So. For those of you who have not used this tool before, you can go to the ad library, search for any advertiser, anybody who has a Facebook page and run some intel, see what they're doing. So you can see right now, like it's very, very heavy on the political space, obviously just based on the time of year right now and the election that just finished, but you can, you know, view very specific people you can type in like um like i can type in nike for example and i can go see all of the ads nike is running for example so i can get an idea of like what's running out there right now but the thing that's probably extremely helpful for 90 percent of the people that are watching this is how do i use this for my day-to-day -day? so my attempt right now is to take this through for a, a b2b or b2c type business um my head went to like the HVAC space, but obviously this can be used for any industry. So again, anyone who has a Facebook page. So um, let's just say if I type in like um, heating and cooling, for example, it's going to show me all of the heating and cooling pages that like Facebook has that has heating and cooling in their title. Now, if you have a very specific competitor and you want to go out there and find them, you can type in their name, see exactly what they're doing. Um, but let's just pretend that this um, Panasonic Heating and Cooling Solutions in Europe, for example, is, is one of my competitors. So of course, when I did that search, no ad showed up on the competitor that I clicked. So on this example, more vent heating and cooling is going to be the competitor that I'm going to be scoping out today. So if I'm in the heating and cooling space, I want to see what their page looks like, what they're running. Um, by default, it goes to the issues, elections, or politics section here in the upper right. So if you're not seeing any ads in the ad library right now, don't worry about it too much. Just click on this all ads option and you're going to see everything that they ran. And now the really cool thing about this is you're able to break it down by date. And I want to say by default, it does like the, the latest time frame of like the past 30 days or so. So these are ads that were launched in December of 2020. And I can see two exact ads that are running now. Now, the reason why this is so powerful is, is for, for a couple of reasons. One, I can see the exact promotions that this competitor is running to their audience. And I can kind of like price compare things. I can see if I stack up against them. Um, just th think how powerful this is, guys. If I look directly at this, I can tell that Morvent is doing an $89 furnace tune-up. Um, it expires on the 31st. I have all of their like unique selling features here, 12 month no payment, 10 year labor warranty. Like I get a ton of information at my disposal here that I can either use for my ads, I can share with my clients. If I'm in-house, I can share with people on my team internally. There's just a ton of things you can do here. And um, interesting thing, this ad is live right now and it says expires November 30th. So another thing you can also do is you can share this with like potential clients, which I'll have a video down the line. And this can be a useful way to like show potential clients and say, yo, like there's something going on right now with your ad campaign. Not, not great from an ad uh, copy perspective or branding perspective. So that, that's also really cool. So again, ad copy, you can blow that out. Great, awesome. 
The other great thing that you can do is you can get an idea of where people are driving traffic. Now, this is a lead ad on Facebook, which means if you click on this ad, a, a form will pop up and you can submit that information. I'm going to try to find a couple of other ads in a few minutes here that'll show you exactly where traffic is being driven. So that's another thing we can take out of this. Um, so keep that in your back pocket for a few minutes so we can look at the actual ad copy itself, all the unique selling features. We can look at the creative too. We can see is it more videos and more static images? Is it stories? Is it whatever? But we can get an idea of exactly what people are running to say like, oh, my creative is much better than that or my creative can stack up in this way. So there, there's a lot of different ways you can approach this and you can think about your clients and share that information with them. So another really cool thing you can do there. Um, so what I typically like to do once I start getting all this information is, is log this data in some kind of a spreadsheet. If you're an agency, you can share this information with your client in some way as like an external document. Um, I, I typically like go some kind of like a, a, an Excel sheet where it's nothing crazy or a Google sheet um, where I would be like, okay, the competitor is more event. The CTA was booked now. This is a lead ad. So there wouldn't be a destination URL. And then I start linking out to things. So like if I wanna like start linking to the image itself, I can just like screenshot this tool, right? I can upload the image URL with this tool that I'll kind of link out here in a second. But I could be like, um, here's a link. So I can make sure to link out to that image. So now if I click on it, it'll take me right to that image so I can look at it later. Or you can go the approach where you actually insert the image into the cell itself. So. That's like another option you can go where you insert the image into the actual cell. So now, like if I really wanted to, there, there's my image. What is this? An image for ants? Um, but then you can like combine the stuff together, obviously, to like get things together in like a better way. And you need to like work on the formatting to ensure it's like the proper like size and everything. But you can play around with it and get like your ad in here and screenshot it in a better way so you can see things much better so the, the whole point i'm trying to make is you can take this information and make like a catalog for your client and say more event competitor a is doing xyz this competitor is doing this here's the unique selling features here's the images here's the video and then you can get really like calculated and surgical as to how you want to approach everything so Really great thing. Um, I, I'm not gonna have a video about this tool, but I'll have a link down below. If you go to ShareX, this tool is, is just money. It, it allows you to do so many different things um, and it allows you to, it's, it's kind of like Snagit or those type of things. It's a free tool, but you can just like draw different screenshots. You can like annotate on things. You can do just so many different things. Um, check out the tool, but that's a video for another time. So link, link will be down below. Um, so the other thing I, I mentioned before this was the destination URL, and I don't want to skip on that because I feel like that's important. So let me let me type in like garage door because I feel like when I was doing some research for like garage door repair, I was able to see the landing page URL. Here we go. So I searched for another competitor, um, overhead precision door service in New Jersey, I want to say these guys were. Um, it even tells you like approximately how much they spend on, on paid ads, which is also interesting. Um, if you want to share that information now, this is an extremely long time frame, obviously, but it shares some insight, which isn't always accurate. But if you start going to ads now, you can click on learn more and it's going to show you where they're driving traffic on their web page. And the reason why this is just like slam dunk information is sometimes these pages aren't indexed or shown on their website and you can find really unique landing pages that people are driving traffic to and try to pull out and peel out elements that they are doing well and you can use in your own campaign. So um, let's say I, I really like uh, this, this element right here. I can peel that and be like, I wanna do unique selling features with a great image. Boom, get it in there. I wanna have forms, I wanna have reviews, yada, yada, yada. This just allows us to really get down to where are people sending traffic with what messaging and with what creative now if you have all of this information at your disposal you're going to be unstoppable or at least one step closer to um getting getting better results compared to other people that aren't doing this research so if you guys found this information helpful um definitely make sure to again subscribe only like two to three percent of the people watching um i, I would really appreciate it i'll i'll um, have links down below to this tool 
to the ad library. And if, if you guys want, comment down below. I can make a worksheet as well that can be copied for people, but you guys get the idea. The whole point is using this information, cataloging it, and then sharing it. So that's all I've got for today. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, thanks for watching. See ya.